When I was about 10, 11 years old, I was reading a book by Hilbert and Konfelsen, an old-fashioned book. It is written as a story, very intuitive, uh, intuitively written, with many pictures and many explanations. There I found many pictures of uh, regular polytopes. By that I mean cube, uh, tetrahedron, octahedron. There are various projections and I was fascinated with that. Uh, afterwards, I read about such analogs in four-dimensional space. First, I trying to see how what is the analog between the cube that we know and the four-dimensional cube. Once I realized that, I looked at the other actually projections of them in three space. And the book mentioned that there are two more regular polytopes, but they're too complicated to draw. So I stopped uh, at that uh, sentence and said that uh, to myself that I should imagine how these polytopes, which cannot be drawn here, how they should look like. I was thinking for about two years how the polytope made of 120 dodecahedrons should look like. And it took me a while to understand and to imagine how all the dodecahedrons are put together. Maybe I was 12 when I completed that uh, uh, part. After that, I was trying to build it from various materials. None of them worked perfectly and this is the first time that it actually was possible to complete. I, this is the first time I managed to complete the figure. The figure that I completed is the one made of 120 dodecahedrons. Now I'm building, it is duo, which is made of 600 tetrahedrons and it is in, in process, it is not completed yet.